hello welcome to pro mixing and mastering today i'm gonna show you how to mix your songs or tracks using fab fiora plugins only this is how my song uh, sounds like without any effects all right as you can tell the vocal is too low it needs some boosting it needs something it needs life to come in so the first thing that i'm gonna load up is um in fab Fiora, i'm gonna load up a compressor just to lift up the vocal a little bit and here we go so you come to the gain and try to just lift it up a little bit wet gain oh, I'm so grateful to you. the dry gain is a negative 13.24 db then the auto gain is uh um i think i'm gonna turn that off i'm gonna just set it up somewhere here to the mid the mid is gonna be right there All right, what I'm gonna do right now is play around with the ratio. I'm gonna give it a ratio of uh, 7, uh, 33 to 1 ratio. Then my threshold is gonna go to about 25, somewhere there, because I feel like the vocal has a lot of transients which keep popping up and down. So I want I want to control some of those uh, peaks which are jumping out of the vocal, and this is how it sounds like. As you can see the compressor started engaging you can see it right here so whenever the compressor is engaging it always brings up some it is yellow some it is red it just comes in whenever that type of uh, vocal pops up if the vocal is cool it's not gonna engage as much but the more it engages means it attacks those vocals which are too heavy and too loud at the same time So I think I'm going to give it another uh, dig using the threshold to about 28. Then my attack is going to be on slow. I think I need uh, a slow attack on this vocal. I see that some of those peaks are being uh, tackled, are being controlled. So um, I, I like what this compressor is doing right now. Then the release, I'm gonna set it to a fast release so that immediately it catches those, it releases them, catches them, releases them, catches them, releases them. Then the hold is gonna be on zero. Uh, the soft knee, I think I'm gonna leave it like that. This softens it up. Then I'm gonna leave it on clean. There is clean, classic, opto, vocal. Let's put it on vocal. So make sure you put it on vocal, then your threshold, try to set it where your vocal is just gonna work out and remember when you put it on vocal it means that the ratio is gonna be uh turned off it's gonna be uh in automatic mode which is okay because you can deal with the attack and the release so i'm okay with where the compressor is right now the next thing that i'm gonna load up in fab fiora uh, uh a fab fiora plugin is Pro Q3. I just want to cut unnecessary frequencies. And the first thing that I'm going to go, I'm going to go to uh, the 12 dB, take it back, take it to 30 dB. Then my cut is going to go on shape, low cut. Then I'm going to give it a 96. Then I'm going to bring it all the way to about a, to about a hundred somewhere there, 100 dB. Yeah, listen to it now. This is before. 
before the compressor after the compressor eq then we are going what i'm gonna do right now is search for unwanted frequencies here we go jesus you turn my life around oh i'm so grateful to you i don't like this frequency so i'm gonna give it uh a negative three Then next, I'm gonna search for another frequency. Jesus, you turn my life around. Oh, I'm so grateful to you. Jesus, you turn my life. I don't like that frequency, so I'm gonna drop it down to about uh, negative two. Jesus, you turn my and I'm gonna search for another unwanted frequency. In the area or uh, in the 500 uh, k area i think i'm gonna drop this to negative five, 500 k area to about a three point uh negative 3.6 then these are uh, the low cut i'm just gonna try to just increase it a little bit to about 96 to uh, uh 82 I feel like there is one more frequency that needs to go out, so I'm just gonna uh, uh, queue in and then try to search Jesus, for it. You turn my life Jesus. I don't like that frequency, it's annoying to the ears, so I'm just gonna give it a two d negative 2 dB cut. Jesus, you turn my life now it's beautiful i think i have i'm satisfied with where concerning the cut and the uh, unwanted frequency this is before the uh, eq Jesus, you turn my life oh, I'm so to you. with the eq engaged beautiful i love where it is right now though i feel like if i can give it a little bit of a high but i think i can come back to that one let me load up a fab fura multiband compressor multiband multiband mb so here we go this is multiband compressor I want to attack this area, the, the the area which is around 10k to 20k, which is this area right here. 20k is right here, then 10k is right here. So let me try to attack this area. Then let me work with the threshold. So as you can see, I've lifted it up a little bit. This is one good thing about Fab Fura uh, uh, multiband compressor. It really does its job. I've lifted up the, those frequencies. Only the frequency that I want to lift up, which is around 20k, 10k area. And that's exactly what I was going for. Remember, uh, you, you might say, but it, it's going to be sharp. There'll be the S's. Yes, I know this S's are going to come out. This is why I'm going to go to Fab Fura DSR and just try to ease up those frequencies which are in the S area and the T area. So we are coming to that one. Now, listen to this. Well, I love this, so I'm okay with where the multiband compressor is right there. Then, um, number four, uh, using Fab uh, uh plugins, I'm gonna load up Fab Fuda DS. Here we go to ease up the S's. Remember, I talked about the S's, so right now I'm gonna control the S's. Here we go. So I'm gonna go in this range of 4K area somewhere there. Then I'm gonna uh, drop down, uh, decrease the threshold so that it can start engaging on the S's. Watch what is happening here 
Oh, it will turn green whenever I say S Jesus. Listen to this. Uh, whenever I say turn, the T's are controlled as well. I've given it a high end. At the same time, I'm able to control those harsh frequencies using the DSA, Fab Fuder DSA. Then what I'm going to do next, I'm going to load up Fab Fuder Sedan just to give it uh, a saturation, a subtle saturation, not too much. I'm going to go to saturation. Then I'm going to go to gentle saturation. Listen to this. Just a little bit. I feel like the vocal is a little bit dry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add up. I'm going to add Fab Fuda R, which is reverb. So I'm going to go to reverb and then my 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 sense. I'm going to go to Fab Fuda. Then I'm going to pick up Fab Fuda Pro R. Here it is, reverb. So I'm going to leave it where it is. Then I'm going to go to the group sense. Group sense. Here we are. I'm going to load up Fab Fuda to around 22, negative 22. Let me listen to it. Then the, uh, I think I'm sat satisfied with the way the reverb is working. Then what I'm going to add right now is um, just to spice it up since our uh, Fab Fuda has no um, pitch correction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add up, I'm going to add um, auto tune and here we go, pitch. Then I'm going to add up auto tune 8.1. Then I'm going to go to major. So I'm going to go with E, then um, this is how it sounds like with auto-tune on. Let me just reduce it a little bit. Close it. So basically guys you can mix your tracks just using fab fuda pro i hope this video helped you and if you're a new subscriber please subscribe i'll see you in the next one